Okay. Uh, the verse is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 19. And then the devotion will be Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verses 13 through 19. So the verse is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, verse 19. Wisdom makes one wise man more powerful than ten rulers in a city. Wisdom makes one wise man more powerful than ten rulers in a city. Think about that. It's good to be wise. If you don't feel like you're wise, ask for wisdom. Ask God to give you wisdom. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Verse 13. Consider what God has done. Who can straighten what he has made crooked? Nobody. When times are good, be happy. But when times are bad, consider, God has made the one as well as the other. He's made the good and he's made the bad. you got to learn from it. Therefore, a man cannot discover anything about his future. That's why when these people get into fortune telling and stuff, it's like, it doesn't do you any good. You're just playing in the devil's backyard. So, <clears throat> Verse 15, in this meaningless life of mine, I have seen both of these. A righteous man perishing in his righteousness, and a wicked man living long in his wickedness. Okay, so those are both extremes. Do not be over-righteous, neither be over-wise. Why destroy yourself? Do not be over-wicked, and do not be a fool. Why die before your time? It is good to grasp the one and not let go of the other. The man who fears God will avoid all extremes. Wisdom makes one wise man more powerful than ten rulers in a city. So verse 18 says, It is good to grasp the one and not let go of the other. So you can have one extreme and the other. But the next part of it says, The man who fears God will avoid all extremes. That's good. Because you want to, if, if, you're, if you're way extreme on one end, even as a person that loves the Lord, if you're like so righteous, you know, people are looking at you going, oh, give me a break. You know, they're full of it. Now, do I believe that there are people that are genuine? Yes, I do. But if they're genuine, they don't rub it in your face. And they don't try to make you feel like you're not a good Christian, so to speak. Does that make sense? And then you got your people that are so on the far spectrum of they're not a Christian. They don't want anything to do with it. And then people do look at them and like, good grief, get a grasp. You know, you could use a little bit of that Jesus stuff. <laughs> so, but it's saying that, you know, wisdom, people that have wisdom... Is someone that fears God will avoid all those extremes. Because God gives you discernment and wisdom and he helps you with things like that. This is good. Um, that whole chapter, chapter 7, if you get time, look it up and read it and, you know, think about it. It's, it's interesting. It makes you think. I like stuff like that, so... Lord, help us to listen to you. Help us to understand your ways. Help us to be full of your wisdom and to think of how you would do it. Help us to not open up our mouth and just spew out foolishness, God. Help us to be exactly what you want us to be today and every day, I pray. Thank you for your word. Amen.